If you're looking to grow on YouTube or run some YouTube ads or get ideas for videos to make in the future, you may want to consider harvesting raw data about other popular and successful videos from YouTube. You can collect raw data such as the view count, like count, title, description, and even get the thumbnail image from YouTube's official API of any public video on YouTube. And I'm going to show you how to do that without writing any code. And why should you listen to me? Because I literally, just this minute, hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you, everyone. So how did I do it? Well, when I was just starting out, I would look for things in my niche. I cover data scraping, so I would go on YouTube and find other popular videos on data scraping and see why were they popular? What were they doing right? Which tags did they use? How did they write their titles so they get picked up in search? And I would manually go and click on all these and track the number of views they got, when they were published, so I could figure out how many views per month are they getting on average, look at the comments, and get more data on them. However, I'm going to eat my own dog food and show you an even easier way I can scrape data about data scraping. So I can collect all this data in a spreadsheet and look at it that way instead of manually having to go through all this, uh, these videos. This right here is the official YouTube API, which you can use for free up to a certain limit per month and you can get back raw data from YouTube about all these wonderful videos. You provide it a video ID, which you can get from the URL of the target videos you're interested. I would suggest picking already popular videos in your niche if you want to emulate what they're doing. You can then pass this ID in, or a set of IDs, into this endpoint. And the endpoint is going to take those IDs you give it and give you back structured data about the specific video. You can see the type of data YouTube will give you back here. So I can see they give you obvious details about the content, which is useful, but I care more about the statistics when I'm looking at public videos. The snippet, which is going to be like the title and description of the video, if you want to emulate that. You can also get the thumbnail URL here, so you can actually go and download all the thumbnails if you want to understand which ones perform well. If you're interested in live streaming, there's another option for this. There are a couple things like suggestions. If you log in with your own account, I'm not going to go over that in this video, but I can. It'll, you can actually see the suggested videos that YouTube will suggest after watching the video here. However, it depends on the logged in account you're using, so I'm not going to cover that, but I can if you leave a comment. You can get the specific topic details if the author lists the video as a topic, and you can also get the tags that the video used. So I've always tagged my videos. I don't believe they're dead yet. Uh, even though most of my visibility in YouTube has been from cleverly structuring my titles of the video, that seems to work the best. And then here is where you provide the video ID or set of IDs separated by a comma if you want to do multiple. We have a couple other fancy options here, like if you want to just get the general most popular videos in your country, you can do that. However, I'm going to cover more on people who want to go and browse other videos that are in their niche and then target those to collect some data. Oh look, there I am. Let's do a quick demo with this first video I found. So I need to get the video ID. You can do that by copying the link address. And then when asked for the ID over here, you can just paste it and then trim the other part of the URL. So now you're just left with a video ID. And you can run this. You just need your API key for this because I'm not asking for sensitive information. If instead, for example, in my part parameter, I asked for only these parts back from YouTube's data, if I wanted things like the suggested videos after, I would have to uh, use OAuth. So I would authenticate on behalf of my personal user versus my API key just lets me pull down public data. So I can execute it and I see I get back data about it. I can see the title, description, and here are the thumbnails I told you about. You can just put in the link and you'll get the thumbnail here. Here are the tags I was talking about if you want to see what tags other videos are using. And these are the coveted statistics. I want to see how well it's doing over time so I can figure out what should I do to emulate other popular videos. Not copy them, but just get some better ideas. So what happens now if I have a list of videos and I want to get all the data about these in bulk and do some analysis that way? Well, I could click this show code button and Google gives me some pretty useful snippets of code I could use. So I can see the Python example, I could write a script to do all this, and I could uh, put in my ID here so I could put in a request for each video or put in a couple IDs separated by a comma, get the results back, and then flatten out all that JSON that we saw. So we'd have to go and manually figure out what do I need to do with all this JSON to make it usable. But like I said, this video is about how to do this without writing any code. This is the Steve C data wrapper around the official YouTube endpoint to get the video details back. What this does is it allows me to put in the information like my video ID and my API credentials. You can follow a link here if you don't have them. 
and I can query this just like the Google platform does. However, the Steve platform, which full disclosure, I happen to own, will go and automatically parse out all of that messy JSON into flattened collections, which can combine with each other when I make multiple requests. That means I can use the workflows feature, which if I scroll down, I'll see a workflow built around this endpoint. I can import it and then add my video IDs to this list. So here are just 10 IDs that I randomly found. Uh, maybe you have more IDs. Let me, if you're running Google ads, you'll have a bigger list and maybe you wanna get some stats on the videos you're running your ads on, whatever. Then just throw in your YouTube API key over here. You can follow this link if you don't have one yet. And what the Steezy platform will do is instead of you writing code to go and query the API and then standardize all that JSON into let's say a CSV file you could use better, it will go and do all that for you. So you can see all the requests it's about to make. And then these are the extractors. It's going to get a CSV file for each of these extractors. So it's gonna build out a CSV for all the video tags used in those 10 videos because each video can have more than one tag. I can see a whole list of all those tags and then I'm gonna be able to see the video performance for each of those tags. So to let me find any patterns between what tags videos are using and what kind of view counts and likes that they're getting. It's gonna go down and run this now. I could schedule this for later. Maybe I wanna get the video stats every day or every week or something if I wanna track trends and let Steve C run and do this for me. So now Steve C made the first request for the first video and it's gonna keep going one after the other. And when it's all done, it combines all the data back for me in two single CSV files instead of 10 messy JSON files. So I can see I have 10 items for each of the videos. So over here, I can see the title of each of the videos, the full description, if I wanna see how they write their descriptions. And most importantly, if I scroll to the right, I can see all of those statistics now in Excel. I can see how many views each video got, the like count, dislike count. I can figure out the percentage of likes versus dislikes that each video gets. And I can also see how many people favorited it and commented. So it's important for me to gauge who to emulate. I can see this video got a lot of views. Most importantly, a lot of comments. Comments seem to drive the YouTube algorithm. I may want to copy what this video is doing or get ideas from it. I can also check out the denormalized tags. You can see I got back 112 tags across all those 10 videos and Steve C denormalized them for me. Now I can see all of the tags that the videos used combined in one column. And if I scroll to the right, I can see the statistics for those tags. Now they repeat here because this is just one video, these first four rows, but I could write a program or do this in pandas and do like a group by each tag. And then I could do something like figure out what are the average views per tag that I use. And I'll probably find that some of these tags are gonna get me more views than others, depending on what I wanna do. And like we saw, YouTube gives us a thumbnail URL for each of those videos so we can find the successful ones and also download those images and take a closer look at maybe what's driving success behind the thumbnail design. I'll leave a link to the official YouTube API endpoint that you can use, as well as this DC data platform if you'd rather use that instead of writing code. I was just using the platform to illustrate what you could do either with the platform or if you wrote your own code and get all this data in easy to demo CSV format. So why did you watch this video? What do you wanna do with this data? Let me know in the comments below so I can get some feedback and make some more videos on how you can actually harvest this data. Are you planning on doing what I'm suggesting and figure out what other creators are doing in your industry and keep tabs on them? Or maybe you wanna get some statistics for advertising so you can target channels and specific videos that you know will perform well for your brand. Let me know in the comments and please like and subscribe and take care and stay data-driven.